Lim Seboon, Chief Investment Officer at DBS Bank, and he joins us from Singapore this morning. Seboon, what a week it's been. Hopefully uh, you'll get some rest this week, weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are we, have we hit bottom yet, though? Look, I think the market's going to probably do a period of base building. I, I don't think uh, we should be in any rush to bargain hunt. There will be some early bargain hunting. There will be some short covering, which will give you that sort of bounce that we've been seeing over the last few days. But uh, essentially what we've seen is the global, uh, the global equities market uh, going into a bull market phase. Essentially, when you look at all that's going on in the markets, the Dow Jones Transportation Index is in, is, is in a bear market, I mean. It's in a bear market, the Hang Seng, the Shanghai Com, they're in a bear market. So this won't turn on a dime. This won't turn on a dime. What you see is very choppy trading at the lowest, lowest point of the range uh, while the market attempts to put a base bill. Okay, well, what about the risk of a double dip then if we're in a bear market? Well, look, uh, the risk of a double dip has simply increased uh, purely due to the fact that the markets have given consumer confidence such a battering over the last uh, week or two. Uh, look, Already, the uh, con consumer confidence indicators were turning down very sharply prior to the uh, brutal sell-off in the markets, and this is just doing nothing to support that. I, expect, I fully expect the consumer confidence indicators in the U.S. to turn even lower in the coming month. Wow. Okay, so this might just be, a, a, I guess, a bounce up for the time being. What does that mean for monetary policy? I mean, would you step in and, and advise people to buy once we get QE3? Well, look, uh, the problem here is that the markets are making a bet that the, that the governments from the U.S. to the euro area have run out of uh, policy, if you like, tools, uh, that the, uh, the policy toolkit is looking rather bare. Now, essentially what they're saying is that with the... Uh, the debt uh, 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 ceiling plan, the deficit reduction plan, uh, the budget is no longer an option for the government and it's all now down to monetary policy and we, we would be expecting Q, QE3 is looking a lot more likely now, uh, probably first quarter of next year and possibly even earlier if the, the economy continues to turn down at the rate that it has been turning down uh, but there, there is still an open question mark as to what QE3 is going to do. Essentially what yeah you're going to do is that uh, you're just going to print more money, you're going to put more credit into the banking system, but how does that help if the household sector doesn't want to borrow? Yeah, and how does it help when consumers don't want to spend right now and companies hold on to cash? Okay, say, Boone, so what are you saying? Are you saying to short stocks until then? Well, we've cut, uh, we've cut our exposures to the equities market last week. Uh, we cut them from, uh, from an overweight situation uh, to, to underweight. So we are underweight stocks in the moment. We are overweight bonds. We're neutral cash. So essentially, we're, we are at the moment sitting on the sidelines uh, with lots of bonds and a fair amount of cash and waiting for a buying opportunity. We do believe there will be a buying opportunity, but we are in no rush. Bear in mind that the U.S. Treasury 10-year yields are now back to where they were in March 2009. March mm -hmm. 2009. That tells you the degree of bearishness that the, uh, the bond market uh, is, is, is speaking to us about with regards to the economy. Uh, so I don't think, uh, as I said, I don't think this is going to turn on a dime. A lot of confidence yeah. building has got to take place. Uh, so we are sitting on the sidelines and there will be opportunities, but probably not immediately. Okay, so when you say bonds, I assume you mean sovereign bonds, right? Not corporate bonds that you're buying into? Yeah, we, we are uh, currently underweight on global bonds. We are overweight on Asia x Japan bonds. Uh, uh, we see okay. a lot more sort of, uh, uh, yeah, look, I think the Asia x Japan bond market is likely to be a beneficiary from the risk aversion flows. That, and we're still seeing very good flows right through this period of turmoil in the market. Lots of people who are getting out of the Asian x Japan markets are saying, hey, we want something else in Asia x Japan and and these are the opportunities. The yields are decent, uh, notwithstanding the, uh, uh, the recent uh, uh, spread compression. Uh, the okay. yields are still quite decent, and the local currency is also good. All right. Well, some good insights this morning, Say Boon. Thank you for joining us. Lim Say Boon of uh, DBS Bank. He's the Chief Investment Officer joining us from Singapore.